Hello! Let's see. Can we get... Coffee? Huh? <gasps> Yay! Okay. There they are. Okay, lovely. Would you please tell me your name, um, pronouns, and favorite color as an introduction? Okie dokie. Hi, I'm Coffin Cuddles. Some called me CC, some calls me C. Uh, I've been called Pipsqueak at least a couple of times. Oh. Um, <laughs> my favorite color is orange, but I also really like like crimson red. And black is always a great. Uh, she, her, they, them. I think that, wait, am I missing something? Did no, I think you gave me extra. Me? That's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the whole palette you gave us. That was great. Thank you. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about the kind of content you create. Uh, I do kind of like a variety because I can't make up my mind. I've Relatable. Valid. Making up <laughs> is my... It's just so hard. It is. <laughs> Why? Why do you have to do it? You could just do everything. Exactly. Mm-mm. What were you doing today? Or most recently, about like this week? What was your what was your schedule like this week? Uh, it's I haven't really had a schedule. Things mm -hmm. have been a little um shaky offline, so I'm just like doing every what I can whenever I can. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, hopefully things settle down and we can see more of you soon. Or you just have a great time offline. Either one is okay. <laughs> I just hope you're having a great time. That's all. Thank you. Can we do like a quick talk about your model? Which is so cool. Number one. The hair is so cool. The design is so cool. Thank you. And it wiggles. It does do the wiggles. I just upgraded to another uh, camera. Mm. So some things are pretty new to me, like my tongue. You have a tongue. <laughs> is it done? Ah. Oh, you got tongue physics, too! Dang! <laughs> you love the hair? Thank you! I have more! Are we allowed to see? Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Let me, uh, whip them out! Haircut magic. Uh, Boom. First, it can grow. Uh, oh, cool! And then I can go, like, left bun. Oh! Then there's like a right bun. And then it can go uh, <gasps> double. Double buns and a cute little octopus double. clip and longer. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it so much. That, that is brand so new. So it's like uh, super cute. Now, do you do your rigging yourself? I don't. I wish I had the talent, but uh, my model art and rigging was uh both done by uh bitta b-i-t-a-h on etsy oh oh that's cool i haven't done any listing stuff on etsy before it's uh really nice um i had no planning beforehand i just thought i just i i threw my money i was like just just take the monies <laughs> did you come in with like a concept or were you just like here's four hundred dollars come up with something it was, there was no concept. It was just absolute random, like, you know, Microsoft Paint. It was, uh -huh. so I Microsoft, it was like a sheet of Microsoft Paint. It was just like different pieces, like bits and pieces just tossed on one thing. And I'm all like, uh, orange, tentacles. Um, uh -huh. And I didn't really know what I wanted. I just wanted something with tentacles. And then she was like, have you heard of Splatoon? I'm like... I have, I have never, I don't think I've ever played or, or known much about Splatoon until that point. And oh, like, okay. you know what? Yes, yeah, Splatoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, I, I definitely love Splatoon now. Like, I love it so much. I was like, there's no way you haven't played it. <laughs> there's no way. Oh, yeah. All the time now. Oh, I forgot. I, uh, oh. oh I was back. going to take both buns off, but like, I, I would have... 
So I can take both of these buns off, but it required me to push like uh, another button and is like, ah, I'll figure that one out later. Button magic, <laughs> finger tricking. Buttons, Let's right? Go. And then there, I can like take Aww. off the jacket. Show and all. shoulders for free. Shoulders. Oh my gosh. Yee. And then my most favorite thing probably would be the, um, if I can pull it out I where wait is my breath anyway. oh there's more tentacles they do the wiggle jiggles they jiggle. <laughs> oh my gosh i think the tentacles and are so unique i love those thank you i also had these octo eyes recently added oh oh yeah that will if you look at the pupils the pupil is different <laughs> That's cool. So wait, so octopuses have like horizontal pupils? They do. <gasps> it's kind of like a goat's pupils. Okay. But originally, before like this big mama, I started off as a chibi. Were you a chibi? Made by the same mama. <gasps> Yee. Yeah. Oh. Like an octopus chibi or like a humanoid chibi? Or like both? Uh, it was, um, it was... Similar to this, it was like humanoid. Um, uh -huh. I still every now and then I will change between the two. It's kind of set as a, uh, it's kind of set as like a redeem because it's like, oh, I love my chibi model to yes. not. I can't just um, away. switch between it. Yeah, absolutely. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. So basically what I'm getting at is you were like, I'm getting a model and I want tentacles and orange with gold accents. And the Etsy lister mama was like, done, got it here. <laughs> Absolutely. The way like there was bare minimum and she turned bare minimum into magic and just like great. amazing. Amazing. Thank you. That's so cool. You got the tongue toggles. You got the hair toggles. You said hair was a recent audition. So how like. How was that process of like getting the first model? And then was it like a couple months later you were like, you know what? I'm craving a haircut. Or how did that go? Uh, well, first it started off with like the chibi and mm. she only had chibis going like there was only chibi at first. Okay. And I don't remember how long. It was like a good few months that I noticed, oh, hey, big, the regular big models uh, commissions are open. So uh -huh. I, I just I'm like, uh -huh. hey. Can I, uh, <laughs> let me, let me commission. I see you sliding <laughs> in the DMs. Yeah, just like, a hey. Hey. <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi, it's me again. It's me again. So they were, like, really good about communication and keeping you updated of, like, the progress. Oh, yes, definitely. When I didn't know what the outfit was for my, uh, mm. for the new model, like, this the big model because i had no idea what other to do i was going to originally go with the chibi models outfit okay but she's like hey you want to try costume change and she gave me like oh, multiple cool. variations and this is the one that just caught my heart the most oh cool it looks really good so i didn't i didn't even realize that the chibi was a different like outfit this looks like it fits so well thank you um yeah the chibi is like a uh I'm going, I'll send you the picture in DM. The chibi Ooh. is like this cute little um, overall skirt with the uh, black shirt. Nice. So the color palette has stayed the same. Absolutely. Nice. I love uh, orange and black. It just goes together so well. It does. If you had to describe your like VTuber brand or personality in five words, what would you say? Ooh, it's a hard one. <laughs> um... This is so cute. Oh, uh, chaos. Chaos, okay. <laughs> chaos is one. Uh, gremlin. Gr gremlin is two. Relatable, I feel that. Uh, caffeinated. Caffeinated, that's right. All right, chaos, gremlin, caffeinated. Uh, no sense of direction. That's not a single word, but... Uh... <laughs> I was like, hyphenated? <laughs> yeah, hyph yeah. Directionless? directionless how many words is that four easily distracted easily distracted five 
Nice. Yeah. All right, I feel like that's a good capture <laughs> of your energy. <laughs> Thank you. So what kind of I know before before we were live, we were talking a little bit about coffee and caffeine yeah. in general. Are you like an only coffee drinker or are you like a five Red Bulls a day? Like where are we at with that? Uh, I kind of mix it up. I used to drink like Monster Energy all the time, but Ooh. then I stopped. Which ones? A while ago. Um, I prefer like the green or blue. Green is superior from what I've heard. But I haven't drank Monsters as much as I've drank like coffees. Mm. Are you so in... many good coffees? Say, are you like an iced coffee or like a hot coffee person or a? Espresso? I think I'm mostly iced. Like, I'll go for iced a lot, but I will drink hot. And most of my iced usually has shots of espresso. I, like, four shots, usually? See, no. Four <laughs> shots? In, like, a four big shot? Or, like, a normal cup? Uh, I mean, I... Like, water bottle I think size? Or, like, big overall Of... Maybe a between, okay. it, like venti, okay. like Starbucks venti size. Okay, 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 okay. Now, okay, okay. <laughs> You're speaking my language. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> venti. Dang. Are there normally four shots in a venti? Uh, not with the caramel macchiato. Those are usually like three shots. I usually pay for an extra fourth. But if you get a shaken brown sugar espresso, Ooh. that one naturally comes with four shots. That's cool. Whoa, I've never had a shaken brown sugar espresso, but it sounds great. Oh my gosh. It's really nice. I think I was, I wanted to try something random. So I'm like, you know, I'll try this. And it was really nice. I usually make it with like oat milk. <gasps> Ooh, that's good for my tummy. Because I guess oat goes great with uh, brown sugar. And it's like, well, I mean, yeah, there's brown sugar oatmeal. True. Yeah, I feel like that's a staple of oatmeal is the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. mm. that's yummy how much coffee do you drink like in a day are you like a once in the morning or you like sip on it all day uh usually once like i'll just drink that one giant one but it's not really in the morning it could be at any time of the day okay um i had today's coffee is probably around 1 p.m hmm. but i have drank at like eight or nine o'clock before Whoa, whoa. Does it not affect you? Do you just stay up really late? Uh, sometimes it affects me and sometimes it doesn't. It usually depends. Interesting. Oh, I could never. If I drink coffee past like <laughs> 5 p.m., I'm just awake for the next week. Understandable. I think I built a tolerance and that's bad. <laughs> I was the monsters. I'm calling it now. <laughs> Dang. I do have a bunch of machines at home, however, for coffee making. Oh, what's your favorite? Are we talking Keurig, Nespresso? Uh, I have an Espresso. I forgot the name. It's like DeLonghi um, Espresso Maker. It comes with like a steaming wand. Ooh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Treat so yourself. So good. I love it. <laughs> That's so cool. I also have a Keurig. Okay. And a Aeropress. And a French press. God, please help. All right, French press is like <laughs> superior though. When I'm like feeling it, French press is it. I love French press. There's so many. I love it. <laughs> when you're making coffee like at home, are you like a syrup or just a black coffee or like a with milk? Uh, usually syrup, milk, and sugar if needed. Ooh, nice. Nice. What's your favorite syrup flavor? Can't go wrong with the classic uh, Torano or uh, Starbucks vanilla syrup. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's so good. Like the uh, the sauces, like a Torano or private selection um, mm. caramel sauce or chocolate is nice. <gasps> Ooh. I, yeah, I love sweet coffee so much. If it tastes a little bit like coffee, great. If it tastes less like coffee, even better. I, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Stretch. I know. I also literally just stretched. I feel like I'm sitting like a cashew. All right, chat. Everybody do a stretch. Shoulders back. Ugh. Deep breath in. Big Woo. stretchies. 
Ooh, Nick I rolls. popped my back. That felt nice. Woo. Yeah. <sighs> I used to do more yoga. I haven't done yoga in like weeks. I'm killing my body slowly. I think I I think I pulled a muscle from the amount of times I popped my back, but it's, <laughs> it's better now. Oh no! It's, it's much better now, but oh, it, it was so bad. It was like ah, oh, but the popping of the back, it's just too nice. Do you pop your <laughs> fingers too? Yes. Ow. Ah, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know why. <laughs> like hearing it on other people, fine, but I can't do it on myself. I feel like my finger is just gonna come off. I need to stop <laughs> oh, do you have a problem see this is an intervention a little bit we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it right here hi chat <laughs> please give us your support <laughs> hi chat i am cc and i'm addicted to popping everything <laughs> everything <laughs> what about like bubble wrap everything oh i love bubble wrap like the sensory input of just a little in the little noise just the pop 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 back and forth yes mm. pop 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 i feel like i get bored after like a sheet. Maybe that's a lot. Actually, hang on. <laughs> it's like a 200 of them. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I eventually I get bored of the popping. Then I kind of like get distracted by something else. Have you ever Especially used like, like something shiny? Say, like shiny things on your desk or do you ever keep fidget toys on your desk? Um, I used to, but my desk is running out of space. In hi, Telgar. I see you. Hi, Telgar. Do you have a, a very clean and professional desk set up or do you have like mementos everywhere? Uh, it's, it's very clean. I mean, kind of clean. I still got a dust, but it's, it's kind of a small desk, so I can't really have a lot on it. Okay. Hopefully I'll get a bigger desk, but I do have my special uh, map. I have, not map, mat. I oh, have so a mat um, that I really like. Oh, what's on it? Me. <laughs> it's just you me Let's it is go. me was it like a specific art piece yes i uh i there's this one really cool artist who i've ordered so much art up from so it's like <laughs> there's there's like the mat and a bunch of stickers <gasps> i want a sticker of my face oh my gosh I feel like I'd put it it's, everywhere. I love it. I would like sticker graffiti I on would places. Too. <laughs> wow. Just uh you've been cc fied. Just stick it on the car. Oh, stick bam. it on a pole. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I would get back to you. I really hope you wouldn't get like arrested or anything. Or maybe everybody would be so happy that you're brightening their day and it would be totally fine. Right. Whoa. Dash Toe says, popping your fingers is usually just popping air bubbles in the fluid that lubes your joints. Hmm. Whoa. Dash, you always have the most interesting facts. I am not going to fact check it, so I'm just going to assume that's fact. I I must be filled with air. <laughs> oh, no, I'm an airhead. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. My, like, chest pops. Like, my sternum pops. I don't know what that's... I don't know if I have fluid there. <laughs> Should I be concerned? Like, if, like, my back doesn't pop. Like, if I, like, puff my chest out or if I turn while I do it, like, my sternum just kind of, like, a little bit. I don't know why. I, I'm i trying to, like, mimic that, but I... I it's not <laughs> You're happening. You're not getting anything? <laughs> I think I'm just falling no. apart. My Barbie pieces are oh, no. out, of, out of shape. I need to go get bent back into place. Have you ever been to, like, a chiropractor before? I haven't, but I have been to a massage person oh. in the mall. Ooh. Like in like on like the massage like kiosks or like inside of like a like a store? It's like inside of a store. It, it was nice until she shoved her elbow between my back and like the uh, in my shoulder blade. And then it wasn't. <laughs> e e e ooh, ah. Ooh. It was big ouchies because I'm like four foot eleven, so there's not a lot of me. Oh my god, you're short! I can't say anything. I'm like not that much taller than you, but um, yes, I'm a rebel in this. <laughs> How tall is your model? Uh, I probably would say between four, maybe four eleven, and maybe five foot one. Okay, on a on a tall day versus a short day, is that like tentacles on, tentacles off, or? I. I don't know if the tentacles add on to the uh, the height. 
<laughs> she says, I'm but, uh, 4'11 on a good day and then six feet with the tentacles, baby. Absolutely. Got to add in the extra. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Neat. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> now I can continue my interrogation session. Ooh. Is there anything particular that you want to <laughs> share? Any events coming up? Any life stories? Ah. Uh... I don't think so. My mind is is super blank. I've lately I've just been um I don't know. Oh no. Thinking is hard. Thinking is hard. That's okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying just questioning you. This is fine. I appreciate you humoring me, just like literally throwing questions at you. This makes it way easier. So I like questions. Obligatory tea time. Do you have a favorite type of tea? Do you drink tea like normally? I do drink tea. Mm. Um, my favorite is probably like a rose tea. Oh, nice. It's like really nice and fluorescent. Everything is made so much better with like a really nice uh, spoon of um, like honey or a little bit of milk. Yeah. Every time I'm sick, I just drink <laughs> tea and honey and I feel like it speeds up my recovery. It's probably a placebo, but I feel like it works at least 10% better. Straight up. I could just drink honey. I would too. I, uh, I've i been craving honey, like a honeycomb. So I desperately searched for like a uh, like, like a jar that had a comb in it. Ooh. I want fresh. Can you eat the I, uh, There's this one bee farm. You can. It is nature's chewing gum. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Yep, it's edible. There is a, a bee farm nearby I really want to visit, so okay. maybe one of these days I'll brave up, even though I'm scared of bees go, and go, wasps. Go, go, I thought bees were like preach Wasps, I, I will run away from a wasp so fast, but I've had <laughs> only good experiences with bees. I feel like they're right. I run away from everything, so I'll even flinch at a butterfly and then get made fun of no. afterwards. <laughs> no. Are you the first person to see? Do you play horror games? I do. I'm just not good at them. <laughs> Ooh, which ones have you played? Ooh, Phasmo is always a good one. Always Although when the ghost hunts, I will freeze up like a goat. Like, bah. Same. Same. <laughs> I'm like useless. As soon as the ghost starts hunting, I'm like, well, guys, it was nice knowing you. I'm going to just, I'm going to go run around right. the house now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hide in the closet no i'm too scared i'm just gonna tuck myself in the middle of the living room yeah, i'm not even gonna like run around furniture <laughs> i'm just gonna stand here with my flashlight off thank you yes right exactly have There's you ever done like labyrinthy oh i was gonna ask how was labyrinth oh it's really nice i uh i was playing with my friend torikai and creeps okay. we also did uh like demonologist mm -hmm. Is that the morgue one? Oh, the morgue one. Ah, oh, the morgue one. The mortuary assistant. I that love one. That game. I don't know why. What was demonologist? What am I thinking of? Demonologist is basically Phasmo, but like extra steps. Oh, is Phasmo not enough? But early for access. Ah. I guess not. Everyone needs a little extra spoops. I guess I'm big baby. I wish I could go into like professional mode and just be like, okay, because of these reasons, it is this ghost. But like, as soon as the creepy noises start, I'm useless. I'm like, I'm trashed. <laughs> I'm my goal too is, oh, I'm going to go look for the uh, spirit orb yeah. in the truck. In the truck. <laughs> I'm going to just watch in the, truck. The, the feed. Thank you. And watch everybody's sanity. Yeah, Make sure everybody's still sane. Yep, exactly. <laughs> important, so important. Me. Wait, Cece, how long have you been streaming for? Uh, I just recently reached uh, two years. <gasps> oh my gosh. Congratulations. Thank you. It's been so fun. Ooh. Do you feel like you've changed? Or has your content changed? Or are you just like straight the same all the way through? Ah. Uh... My content kind of stayed the same, but I definitely gained confidence. That's that's <gasps> something nice. Did you? That's great. I used to be so shy. <laughs> Aww, you're doing great. Do you, are you an extrovert or an introvert? It depends. Okay, okay, okay. Please explain. Uh, 
if I'm alone, I'm, I'm very, like, I, I don't really, I, I'm really shy, and I, I, I don't want to bother anyone, but if I have, like, someone I know, or, like, friends to just, like, hype me up, then it's, like, I'm a bit more, like, out there, as long as I have someone by my side, because otherwise I, ah. I kind of, eh. Yeah, so, like, if there's, like, a group <laughs> of people you're familiar with, then you'll take that spotlight, but if there's nobody that you're familiar yes. with, you're like, no, I'm gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I'm just like I'm just gonna tuck myself in this corner and and hope someone I know comes by. Right. I'm just gonna wait and be a wallflower. I feel that. I feel that. Interesting. So, have you made other like VTuber friends? Have Have you been the person that like makes your other friends become a VTuber? Um, I've I've made a lot of friends. Um, I've turned. So I. A friend of mine had this other friend, and I, like they streamed together. <gasps> and that friend didn't have like a PNG or any or any type of uh, character. So I'm like, "You are a slug. You are a banana slug officially I now." And they oh actually God. got art of it. <gasps> <gasps> they are a banana slug. I love that banana slugs are so cute. Right? It's just like I don't know. They, it just they gave banana slug energy. <laughs> it's giving banana slug. <laughs> definitely interesting that's so cool if you had to organize like a dream collab like what game would you play and like what activities would you do Ooh, that's a tough one um oh boy i don't there's so many games i like when it comes to like big collabs and like dream collabs because I mean, a fun Jackbox uh, collab is always nice because yep. sometimes Jackbox be funny. I uh, I I've always wanted a Mario Kart one, but I, I don't get enough people to do Mario Kart with me, but I'd like that. Who do you play in Mario Kart? Um, oh, I don't have anyone specifically. Okay. Usually I'd swap between like uh, Splatoon based ones. Checks out. <laughs> <laughs> valid i'm always like a solid baby peach maybe baby daisy if i'm feeling spicy but like baby peach Aww. all the way that's awesome i love her she's the best what did you which console did you first start playing mario kart on uh ooh. i i don't remember uh the only thing i can remember so far is just the switch but i did have like a nintendo like i had a wii Wii? Um, I, I must have done something on the Wii. Probably. Did you ever have, like, at some point, or use one of the little Wii, like, physical controllers for Mario Kart? Like, the driving steering wheel ones? Have you ever seen those? I've... I... I don't think I have used any of those. Oh, they're so cool. Wait, let me Google you a picture. I used to fight with my friends for it. It looks just like a steering wheel, but you plug the, um... The controller in it was super like cheap i, I guess yeah. but it was super cool oh you can still buy it oh <gasps> <All right, laughs> if i ever make a throne this is the only thing i'm putting on it there you go i send it to you please enjoy it's like probably exactly what you were imagining oh oh they have those for the switch Do they really um, i thought of up i thought of that of getting one <laughs> I have a Switch Lite, so I can't do any streaming with it. I just have to talk about it later. Sad day. I had a Switch Lite, and then I got my wisdom teeth removed. And <laughs> then I got a big Switch to take my mind off of the, got totally valid. Off of the wisdom. Absolutely supported. <laughs> yes. How was that? Oh, it was awful. I, it was bad. Oh, no. <laughs> but I went to the GameStop immediately after, and, and the guy's just like, you okay? Because I'm all kind of groaning. Aww. And they're like, oh, switch. And they're like, are you okay? What's going on? And my friend I went with is like, she uh, she just got her wisdoms removed. And the dude is like, oh my god, how are you still standing? Why are you here? And oh I'm just like, god. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. <laughs> yes. I would do it for Animal Crossing. I've done a lot for Animal Crossing. I've had some ungodly hours just trying to catch bugs. Oh, yes, and there's just, like, I have restarted my island a dozen times over. 
to get like a, a specific villager or just because you want to redo stuff? Because I want to redo stuff. Sometimes I get bored of the islands. So I've probably maybe deleted my island at least three times over. Oh my gosh. Um, after finally getting the map I want e each and every time. Ooh. How long does it take you to like... Well, how many maps are there? I've never done that. Uh, for like the specific map, you just have to close out the game and keep opening it back up until you get to... Until you see a map that you like. Uh -huh. I have a... Uh, like, after getting it all set, I'd still reset the island after a decent amount of time if I'm bored with it or if I want to do a different theme. Mm. But most of the time, like, I don't remember how long I re- like, how much I resetted it, but I got a really good map to where the, uh, the resident services is directly in line with the airport, <gasps> and we have peaches. Oh my gosh. I would also reset for that, Valen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> It reminds me of when people will like reset their um like Pokemon games until they get like a shiny starter or something. I've tried that and then I lost patience. Also, does it work? <laughs> I don't know if anybody's actually done it. I have not watched streams to make sure it happens. I think it I think it worked. I um I had a friend named Wobby. Uh <laughs> I think Wabi restarted and actually got a shiny, uh, I think it was a Piplup? It was a shiny Piplup. <gasps> I love Piplup. Piplup is my favorite Pokemon. Ah, oh, Piplup's down. really cute. I think my favorite is probably Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil! It's, yeah, yeah, the orange checks out. Yeah. <laughs> I like all things orange and I also like fire. Ooh. Twitch, I promise I'm not an arsonist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me, let me put that out there. We are not promoting arson. Have fun. I but... always have to warn Twitch. After something I say is like, hey, this is jokes. Do not take me serious. <laughs> Do not sue me. Thank you. <laughs> Respectfully, I'm kidding. Do you always choose the fire types or do you like, have you branched around a little bit? I've always choose the fire types. Really? Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm always flopping <laughs> between like grass or water. I was mostly grass until Piplup came out and I was like, mm -mm, no, this is my child. <laughs> I, would, I would murder for this child. A joke, Twitch. So cute. Or is it? Yeah, it's like we joke. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> do you like Typhlosion as like a third stage? Oh, yes, I do. I think that one's pretty cool. I was a fan of Infernape. I played a lot of Diamond and Pearl. Ah. I loved Infernape. I uh, I love Diamond Pearl so much. I had it on the um, on like whenever the, they're like the DS and 3DS is was a yeah. thing. I God, I love those games. Also, like uh, Platinum oh. was awesome. Is that the one that had Giratina? I think it was. It, it was the third game whenever yeah. Pearl and Diamond was released. So I, yeah. I love that one too. Which one did you have first? Were you a pearl player or a diamond player? Or did you just have both? Pearl first. Oh, I, I mean, diamond. I had both, but uh, I preferred pearl more of. Did you play the remake on Switch? I do. I have pearl. <gasps> <laughs> Yay! Is it everything you wanted, nostalgia-wise and more? Yes, I love it. Yay! Have you played any other Pokemon games? Did you play the um, Sword and Shield or what's the grape and orange one now? What is that one? Uh, oh, the Scarlet and there it there's is. the Scarlet and uh, Violet. I have played Scarlet. Um, I played uh, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver on the uh, on the DS. I, I loved those. Yeah. I was. I remember buying the uh, Heart Gold whenever it first came out <gasps> of, on the DS. Wow. What's your I, uh, What's your strat for playing like Pokemon games? Like, do you like? run all the way around the map first or do you progress through linearly uh kind of linearly but like i try to get like a level or two higher than the next opponent i'm going to yes, face same i hate losing i'm gonna grind until i know i can win <laughs> absolutely there's also the pokemon mystery dungeon game <gasps> wait is that the one where you play as the pokemon loved. yeah what? it's like if the one i had you put your thumb or finger on the uh, on the little touchpad of the DS, and it's like, oh, breathe deep and answer these questions, and it'll say what yeah. kind of Pokemon you are. Were you a fire type? 
Yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was I think I was a water type. I think I was squirrel or something one game. I got a skitty once. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Skitty's adorable. I love that. I, th I always just thought it was fun to like interact because you know the Pokemon are like always talking to each other in like the yeah. games and the shows. And so in my head, I was always like, what are they? I want to be that. Like, I want to talk to the other Pokemon. And then we do. Yeah. It was such a I love idea. that game so much. That one has a place in my heart. <laughs> <gasps> Yay. I'm trying to think of if there's other like Pokemon games. Did you ever play like the, um, what was it called? Pokemon Cafe? I think it was like an app. I don't think I have. I've also mm -hmm. never done the, um, I don't know, what was it called? It was like Arceus or something? Oh. The old timey one. Yeah. I've never done that one. That one's interesting. I, I've heard good things about it. I, people I've heard that played it really enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, Black and White, Black and White 2, X and Y. I loved those. Yeah. What came next? Sun and Moon? Sun and Moon came next? I think I I had both at some point, but I think my the one I started first was Sun. Ooh, that was is, I missed that uh, generation. Uh, so me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fire Sun checks out. I don't, which one was that? Lit not Lit Leo. What was the name of the legendary? It was like Lion Knee. Don't remember. It's been such a long time. But that was like Lunala or something. Or I'm just making oh, that up. Yeah, I'm just making it, up Pokemon. It's one of you know, Solar Regis. I will Google later. That one? <laughs> I think it's Solar Solar Regis. Solar. <laughs> it, it's been such a long time. My mind slips me. Yeah. How, <laughs> it doesn't feel like that long ago. Oh, I sound like an old lady. No. Oh, man. <laughs> me being 20,000 years old is too much. Sol, Sol, Sol Galeo. Sol Galeo? Ooh. Oh, Galeo. That's what I'm seeing. And then all the Tapu Pokemon. Tapu Lele. Tapu Babu. Mm. Whoa. I, I haven't talked about Pokemon on Tea Time yet. Except for with Yui. I don't know if you know Valkyrie. They're also a creator that does a lot with Pokemon. Super cool. I'll have to check them out. Oh, they're fantastic. I love them so much. How's your summer been? How's it going? It's been going pretty good. Uh, yeah. Very hot. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're staying cool. Uh, as long as I'm staying inside, I'm staying cool because uh -huh. this state is evil. Oh no. Are you in the heat dome right now? I think so. This whole week has been between 100 and 105. Oh all week. my gosh. I, I <laughs> would like be cooking in my car. That's awful. It, it's yucky, and I try not to go out very much because my car doesn't have AC. Oh. <laughs> Cece, no, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you get, like, groceries? Do, do other people get groceries for you? Uh, it's a mix of between. Okay. I'll go get it. Sometimes family would get it. Sometimes a mix of both. Okay, okay. Uh, I usually go at night. Because it's like a less hot at night, but other times I avoid going at night because I don't want to lose my parking spot. Ooh, because yeah. this apartment is stinky with it. It's oh. like, I want to pay 50 for a reserved. No. So I'm going to take a test of fate. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get a parking spot? Who knows? <laughs> Will I have to park on the other side? Maybe. Maybe. But here we are. <laughs> That's wild. Have you had any, like, summer plans? Do you normally go, like, swimming? Or do you take any trips? Swimming, I usually go. It's really nice. Um, I recently went to Six Flags, which is a amusement park. And I haven't been in, like, so long. Whoa! Are I you, love it so much. I'm scared person? of heights. Uh, Yes. Although I'm scared of heights, okay. I will still go on a roller coaster if I have someone next to me who I know. Nice. I, I don't like the dropping ones. I don't like the feeling of, like, my insides getting rearranged like that. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, like the Superman, which is kind yes. of like an elevator, but inside out. Yeah, no, no. Who? Ah, who that? <laughs> yeah, that one makes me not feel so cozy. No. <laughs> I don't mind going, like, upside down. I don't mind going backwards. It's just, like, the straight vertical drop that gets me. 
<laughs> Ooh. I'm sure that was fun, though. And it wasn't, like, too hot, maybe. Eh, so-so. I certainly cooled off when we went through this one called, like, the Roaring Rapids. Okay. It's a raft on this long <gasps> river that's, I like, usually, rides. like, very wavy. Ooh. And last time I went, like, I went twice this summer. The first time when I went... I magically came out completely dry. And it was just like, well, that's a bummer. Nice. And the second time, I got entirely soaked. Oh. It was just like, oh, oh. I see. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is all up to chance. That's funny. It was really it was really nice to get cooled off, but I was also wearing like a type of texture of clothes that doesn't dry quickly. Oh. And I spent $5 on the human-sized dryers, ah. and it still didn't dry me off completely. So I'm like, oh, oh. okay then. Oh, no. <laughs> That's such a good, like, marketing thing to have those dryers there. I've never seen those, but that is an absolutely easy way to make money because people pay to go there and get wet, and then they pay to get dry. That's awesome. Exactly. It can fit, like, four people at a time, but it doesn't dry you off completely. Ooh. It's giving me like photo booth vibes. Are there just like big fans around? It is. How does that work? Um, they're like in vents. It's like standing in front of a car vent. Whenever you're like in your car and there's ah, like the AC, like it's the a bunch of those, and it's, it's like a photo booth, but like dry. Like that one, like Marilyn Monroe picture where her dress is flying up. Oh, it ironically the air does not come from directly below. Oh, that's it just probably comes better. <laughs> or sure. It's like from the sides and from above, so yeah. Me, I feel like my hair would get so messed up. I had mine in a ponytail. Ooh, ooh, that's the strat. <laughs> <laughs> you got it set, or a braid? I feel like braids usually do me pretty well. Also, uh, I don't know. If, I think I could probably do a braid. I keep cutting my hair, just like I restart my island or restart my started Valley <laughs> Farm. I cut my hair a dozen times. Does it just get like shorter and shorter. Yeah, sometimes I'm too lazy. So it's like, you know, I'm just going to shave. There's another one. <laughs> Cece just has one piece of hair left. Just one, one single hair. Yep, all the time. I've, I usually opt for like a Sokka haircut a lot of times. Oh, yeah. And then I'm just like dyeing my hair like a dozen different colors. So I was like, going to ask, what, what colors like, do you dye it? Ooh, my favorite is to dye it orange. No way. <laughs> wow, I'm so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I use like Arctic Fox. Oh, that's such a good uh, I thought it was a cool brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that My one. My latest one was purple. Ooh. The uh, Space Cowgirl green, like the neon green was really <gasps> nice. Ooh, I'm scared to try that one. I don't want to look too alien, but like, I guess if I think it's cool, whatever. It's really cool. I The pigment is really nice. Ooh, and like it stays for a while. It doesn't wash out as easily. Uh, yeah, it stays for a while as long as you don't like shower every day or at least wash your hair every day. Then mm -hmm. it's, you know, because it stays pretty long. But um, if you shower your hair every day, then you kind of make it a little shorter. Yeah. But I shower too much for my hair to stay in place. I, I just like hot showers. Same. I was going to say, I am so awful about keeping color in my hair because I'm a big baby. And if it's the shower is cold, I don't want to be there. <laughs> and I want to be clean. Exactly. I have my showers like boiling hot. And it's like basically every day. It's like, well, chat, I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Let me go scowl my first four layers of skin off. Exactly. Except for that one time when I realized the hot water was off and the apartments oh. forgot to send the email and it stunk. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. I, I was cry. so sad. Because I was expecting scalding hot water, but I was met with like barely lukewarm. I'm like, oh, what is this? That's the worst. <laughs> and then I feel like I have to get soapy like really quick and then get out really quick or else I just get cold and sad. Yeah, I ended up trying like even different showers. I'm like, oh, maybe it's not, maybe it's just my shower. So I walked into my parents' apartment, who's like right next to me. I'm like, hey, I'm using your shower. <laughs> I'm showering. <laughs> Theirs isn't on. I'm like, okay. 
Uh, then I walk up to my sister, who also lives in the same apartment complex. Nice. I just walk in. I'm like, I'm using a shower. And then I realize, ew, it's it's also not very nice. And it's like, well, fine, I'll skip the shower for today. And then my sister's girlfriend is like, no, you're showering. <laughs> and they forced me to shower. Oh, boo. <laughs> shame, shame. Stinky CC, why? <laughs> no. Uh, it, it was, I just wanted that hot water I, and I it didn't that. come back until like the Monday. Cause they're like, Hey, we was working on the boiler on that <laughs> Friday, but we forgot to turn it back on all weekend. Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh man. I would be so angry. I would. I was, but then I took the best hot shower whenever it was back on. And <sighs> I'm like, Oh, oh, oh I miss yeah. this. So what? <laughs> I want to go back to summer plan stuff. I know in the um, original document I sent out, you said you were interested in talking about games, VTubing 101, and um, conventions. Have you been to an anime convention Ooh. before? I have been to one and only one, and I loved it so much. Did you? When did you go? Like a year ago? Like 10 years ago? It was um, last year. It was called Anime Dallas. Ooh. It's like in the next city over. There's a bunch of cities. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not doxing myself. It just happened to be <laughs> <Yeet>. Dallas. <laughs> it was awesome. I loved it so much. I ended up getting like a taco nyaki plushie. So it's like a, it's a takoyaki, but cat. But yeah, that's so cute. So did you go like for just one day or did you do the whole weekend? Uh, just one day. That's all I could really afford. <laughs> Valid. Those things should be so expensive. I spent so much in Artist Alley, though. It's like, oh, it always gets me. Same. I like the vendor hall. I like to go around and look at things. But I think my heart is mostly just tied to, like, supporting artists. I just want to throw my yeah. money at their good art. I got these really cool prints of um, Fry and Shiver from Splatoon. Oh. And I have it all, like, framed next to my uh, setup. Yes. Let's go. And then I got, uh, I went to the Uwu market and I got me a Vex in a Shy Lily. A Vexoria and a Shy Lily poster. So those two are <gasps> hanging up there too. Yay! Oh my gosh. I've not been to a convention I loved in it. so many years. I did not go to anything in Korea. So like the whole VTubing boom, I like missed. But now coming back and like seeing VTubers everywhere, I'm so excited. I'm so ready for my next convention. I get so excited whenever I see like the conventions announce something VTuber related. I'm just like... <gasps> One of them. Wow. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was like existing when I was going to cons and I just didn't see it. But I am so excited on Twitter when I see people talking about how they're going to conventions now. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. It is. I have a friend who every now and then asks, hey, are you going to this convention? Because he also happens to be a VTuber and just like, oh, meeting another VTuber in person. Oh, my awesome. God. And my cons are like the place <laughs> to meet up too. I'm so happy. Like obviously yes. there there is understandably overlap between VTubing and anime. And so conventions are just like the perfect, the perfect place to meet up and say hi. Exactly. I've always wanted to cosplay, but <gasps> I didn't get a chance last do time. It. But this do time it. I'm gonna try. Do you see? Do it. I'm I'm giving you my blessing. I love cosplaying. You should absolutely do it. For sure. Oh, but what would I cosplay as? Sokka, you got the hair already. Just do a Sokka. True. <laughs> You're halfway there. Do your VTubing avatar. That would be so cute. I have been desperate to learn how to make a wig that is like, not just like hair wig, but like, can I, can someone teach me how to make like the floppy silicone tentacles? Yes. Wholesomely, guys, wholesomely, I need <laughs> it for a wig. Like, can I just like have a silicone mold of it is for creative hair. purposes and nothing else not for internal use <laughs> exactly please don't use my tentacles that way uh, guys no. that's no no, not no nice no. you can absolutely <laughs> google like um splatoon like wig stuff because i know a lot of splatoon I cosplayers have. use like not normal wig fibers like i've only worked with like normal wigs so i don't have any good advice i think you can do it though go cc yay <laughs> I'll let you know if I successfully make a full silicone wig. <laughs> yes! I'll say post it on Twitter or send it in my DMs because that would be so great. I want to oh, see it. that would be so cool. And I, I want to play Splatoon now. Now I feel like I have to play Splatoon. 
I love Splatoon. It's so awesome. Have you played <laughs> um um what is it? What's it called? Like when there's the not the wars, when there's like two sides? Uh two sides. There's uh I'm trying to think. Um there's turf war, a uh, table it. turf. It's like when like the the um shoot, like it's like the whole game wide. Like you're either mayonnaise or ketchup, or you're like like dark or like light or something like that. What is that called? Uh, there is. Well, since there's three idols, it's um for like the weekend. You are specifically that color, strictly of the team you choose. If you uh. mean like Splatfest. Oh, Splatfest. That's it. It's Splatfest. E, I love Splatfest. They're so fun, along with big runs. Big runs are also so fun. Ooh, what's Whenever big runs? Salmonoids take over. It, it's like salmon run when you like kind of um, mm. you're collecting those uh those golden eggs from these salmonoids. Usually ran by like Rizco, but a uh, big mm. run is when the salmonoids take over a map that is usually used for like turf war. <gasps> oh, interesting. It can get really difficult, but it's super fun with friends. Yeah. What's your favorite weapon in Splatoon? What do you use? Are you a paintbrusher? Ooh. Are you a are you a Easily the ink brush. Ink brusher. Ooh. Because it's not it's I mean, I like rollers, but the ink brush is the right amount of um fast in coverage. Cause if I can flick it quickly, then I am dangerous. Kind of. <laughs> She's <is> speed. <laughs> I am speed. Get him. Okay, I know who to who streams to look back at if I want to figure out how to play Splatoon and not be awful. I would love to play together. That sounds like it would be awesome. Oh my gosh! Yes. I was saying, I don't think the only thing I've played. I don't even know if it was on stream. I played like a little bit of Pokemon Unite. Oh, it was fun. Ooh. Highly recommend it if you haven't played. Have you ever played like um, not MMOs? What is it called? Battle. Oh. Battle, Roy Battle Royales, like uh, Apex? I mean, that is, those are fun, too. It's almost like League of Legends. I forget what those are called. Oh. Um, not really. I've I've tried playing, like, Smite yeah, or, like, uh, a little Smite. bit before, but I haven't really uh, got to really get into it too much. Maybe one day I'll get into Smite. Honestly. But I have played other games, like WoW and oh. ESO and stuff. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. How's, how's Elder Scrolls? How long have you been playing Elder Scrolls for? Talk to me about Elder Scrolls. <laughs> uh, the, my love started with Skyrim. <gasps> and then I decided to go backwards into Oblivion and Morrowind. And Ooh. I have the whole set. But uh, I think I started on ESO back in... Um, I don't remember the specific year. I started on like consoles, like the Xbox and PlayStation. And I Ooh. only switched over to PC just this year. <gasps> when it wow. comes to uh, ESO. Cool. <laughs> Gosh, I love it so much. I got pretty far in console. I've played it since they released, like, I specifically remember the Somerset chapter release, but now it's no longer Somerset as the chapter. Mm -hmm. The new chapter is like Necrom, where they uh, oh. added the Arcanist class because tentacles. Because tentacles. Let's go. Because tentacles. <laughs> I'm going to think of you anytime I see a tentacled character, like, ever. I see Splatoon and I'm like, oh, there's CC. Thank you. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yay. Okay. Well, we're nearing the end of our time. I'm not just going to cut you off cold turkey, though, because I like talking to you too much. And um, you thank know. you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We got a raid. Well, Ooh, I will. Awesome sauce. Let them roll in for a second. Hello, everyone. Welcome to tea time. I'm talking with the lovely. You want to introduce yourself again real quick? Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Coughing Cuddles. I'm an octopus who likes chaos, cuddles, coffee. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> From everything I know. And my name is Lethia. I am Runaway Demon Royalty, currently hosting my VTuber talk show. I say talk show. I feel like we just uh, talk over teacups. Tea time. Yay! Trash Panda Yay. Army Raid! Welcome in! We've just been talking to Cece about their content and games they like to play. And we are moving into the section of the show I like to call positivity, spelled T-E-A at the end. Um, so doors are locked, I love it. windows are shuttered. Uh, you cannot leave uh, legally until you say 
three nice things about yourself or things that you like about yourself. Mm. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. I like my energy. I I have I have I think my energy is good. Uh. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It's infectious. 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 Thank you. <laughs> you just I make can make happy. a nice cup of coffee. Ooh. You know, I mean, I can make good teas too. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I like it. Thinking, thinking words. We have two. We have oh. great energy. We have makes a mean cup of coffee or tea. Oh gosh, my mind go empty. <laughs> I uh, I got jokes. I am, I'm, I'm kind of humorous. <laughs> I, I say very. Thank you. You want to hear a joke? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Always. What do you call friends? Who you like to eat with. Friends who I like to eat with. <laughs> Taste buds. Okay, so I was going to say something with buddies. Thank you. <laughs> Boo, I was so close. Where do you get these from? I've had some friends who passed me along some. And I've also been like Googling them. Because like I've been visiting my grandma a lot. And I've been trying to tell her a bunch of dad jokes and awful puns to make her feel better. <laughs> Does she appreciate it or is she like, oh my god, Cece, not again? She, as far as I know, she appreciates it. Okay, <laughs> yay! What's your favorite dad joke? Is that your favorite one? Did you just give us like the best of the best, the creme de la creme? Oh, I don't know if I have a favorite. There's so many because it's just like, there's just a lot. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, there was one that I really, really liked that a friend told me. And I think, like, normally, like, I enjoy jokes. But this one, I think I almost peed my pants laughing. It was so good. I'm gonna what did it uh, What did it include? Maybe I can probably think of it. Oh, oh, I remember. How do you think the unthinkable? I don't know. An iceberg. <laughs> Oh, you get it? It's with a lisp. <laughs> I don't know if my microphone caught all of that chat, but I said, "How do you think the unthinkable?" And the answer is an iceberg. But instead of a C, it's a TH sound. You're welcome. There you go. <laughs> you can go impress your friends. That's the best one I've ever heard. I I was unprepared for the quality of that one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! There's just so many, and, and cheese jokes are always the best too. Cause like, Buddha. why can't the cheese wheel sleep at night? Why can't it sleep out, man? I I don't know. Cause there's a monster in its closet. Oh no! Monster is a type of cheese. It is monster <laughs> cheese. <laughs> are you a pun person too? Do you make puns in conversations? All the time. I, I love puns <laughs> and awful groaner jokes. Oh, I'm the one that groans. I will still love you dearly, but I am the one that groans loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay. Um, okay, we asked our positivity. You ruled ro through that one. I agree with your humor. Highly accurate. Um, I have a question <laughs> that I'm asking all of my guests this season. I try to have like one question that I ask everybody. Like, I see how everybody answers differently. But if you were to get isekai'd, like, run over by a truck and popped up in a new world, what kind of, like, isekai world or genre would you be in? Ooh, that's a hard one. Because my mm -hmm. favorite anime is probably Bleach, but I do not want to end up in Bleach. No, I, no. I don't want to end up in that area. No, 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 no. <laughs> I agree. Maybe, maybe like a love-based anime. Like, <gasps> I, I'd like to end up in like Chibi Vampire or uh, or Fruits Basket. That's not going to kill me. <laughs> Are you talking about like Karen the Chibi Vampire? Yes. That was my first like real anime I ever watched. I love it so much. It's not going to kill me if I end up in there. No. <laughs> I, I would absolutely do a rom-com one. That would be so fun. Yeah. 
Neat. Well, okay. It has been so good talking with you. Do you have any final like words, questions, comments for chat? Uh, I think the only last thing I have is just one final joke. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Singing in the shower is fun and all, but if you get soap in your mouth, it turns into a soap opera. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's been great. We've loved having Cece here. Oh my gosh. Thank you for having me. I am so happy that you decided to come on the show. You have been fantastic. Genuinely. I appreciate all your puns, even if I do groan loudly. <laughs> but it's so cool. You are so I creative so and much talented. Fun. Thank you for spending time with me tonight and for hanging out with chat. Thank you. And I mean, you, my inbox is always open for you. Let's go. Teach me how to play Splatoon and um, carry me, please. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. <Yay. laughs> and then give me all the good tips for how to play ESL so I can. Um, oh, I would happily do that. I will myself. carry you in dungeons and Yay. give you good gears. I, I got you. I just want to run around <laughs> and talk to NPCs. That's what I do. And pet animals. Yeah. I dragged my friends into ESO. <laughs> I'll, I'll jump in myself. Say less. All right, chat. It has been a great <laughs> evening or morning, depending on where you are. Here's your um, good night kiss. Mwah. Hope you have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon. Mwah. It has been so lovely seeing you here. I will set up a raid in just a second, but we're going to call it a night. Goodbye. Bye-bye.